today I will show you how to make this crazy CRT flicker effect. Yo, it's Povikas here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of one and only from his Ghost Killer music video. And here what we can do is actually pre-compose the clip. So, what we need to do is right click on the clip, or whatever clip you have, you know, you don't have to have the one and only Ghost Killer music video, by the way, I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. And you need to go to pre-compose. And here we can call it, um, I guess clipped i don't know let's just call it something and let's press on move all attributes into new composition press ok and here let's double press and here what we can do is we can actually pre-compose it again by right clicking pre-composing and here we can call it actually clipped i don't know i'm just calling this very randomly and press ok and now let's double press here again and i'll show you why i did that in a moment but let's just keep going let's just keep going so what we need to do here is we need to press Ctrl alt y to make a new adjustment layer and we need to add an effect that i will have linked in the description it's free i made it by the way for you guys it's called tv flicker loop and now this will basically give us like a tv flicker effect like this which is absolutely crazy and i can actually show you how we can tweak this for your own liking to be fair you can make this like by yourself but first let's just go here and rename it to flicker it's just so we don't forget and what you could do is if you want to make this a bit different or just make your own flicker is you can actually press ctrl y and add hue saturation this is my method and i like to make the master lightness to just minus 100 i like to get the rectangle tool and i like to draw like a portion maybe like this yeah something like this you know and here what we can do is we can press p and keep him the position also press t and keep him the opacity and press u and you can move this around so like you can go here next frame and you can make him maybe move this up like here and make the opacity maybe like i don't know 50 and then make it go down maybe right here and uh, actually we can stretch this out we can actually press s and we can put the scale maybe let's put the scale right here press u and here we can deselect this and make the scale maybe up higher a bit like this so it'll flicker like that and you can just make it keep going and this is how you make a really cool flicker yeah and whenever you want to make this a bit loop you can go to every single one of these you know keyframes so for example let's go to position and hold alt and press on the stopwatch and type loop out and press on this and press out of here do that for all of these and you will have a really crazy flicker but yeah we can just use this flicker that i have pre-made for all of you and uh, yeah we can also press Control d on this layer and we can actually move this nine frames forward uh no you don't have to move like nine frames forward you just have to move it forward because i like to have two flickers like this but make sure they're not starting from the same point wait so let's just look right here oh actually they're kind of close to starting i pressed u to see all the keyframes actually i'm going to make it start yeah like this yeah it will look actually crazy like this so yeah let's just have it like this all right and now we can go back to the clipped layer and it's important to go to composition and in composition settings let's rename it let's rename it to 720 now i'll show you what i mean by that what i mean by that is i like to make the width to 720 and the height will be 405 and that will pretty much scale this whole thing down like the whole composition we can press ok and now we can press s and scale it down to like 37.5 i think yeah and this will pretty much just damage it just have a lower quality. And now we can start making the CRT effect that we'll add on top of it. So we can press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer again. And here we can call it CRT. And now let's actually start adding the effect. So the first effect like that here is Mosaic. And this is used to just to damage the look a bit more. So you can make it like 300 if you want. And this will damage it a lot more, I'm not gonna lie. So, but I like to make it to 400 because I don't wanna damage this too much. And now a really important effect that here is grid. Now for grid, you need to go to corner point and make the width a nice sliders. I like to make the width to two here and also the height to three and the border to one and the color to dark. And now let's go to blending mode and here i like to make it to hard light now what this basically did is it did those tv little lines as you can see here now the higher you make the height the more visible this will be or what it will be the more visible and now we can add cc lens and here i like to make the size to 150 and the convergence to minus 200 and this will have like this actually crazy tv effect as you can see here i, I just really like that and another effect i like to add here is glow because you know tvs usually glow a little bit and i like to make the glow intensity 0 0.7 
and the glow radius to 30 and I like to press ctrl D on the glow to duplicate it and here I like to make the glow radius to 118 yeah if you can't see anything you might want to make the glow threshold a bit lower right now I don't know this is the first time it's happening I think After Effects is glitching a little bit but yeah you can actually make the glow, glow threshold a bit lower and now an effect that I like to add here is S Flicker now S Flicker is a sapphire plugin needed effect so you do need to have that but this is not important as much because we already added a TV flicker there and here I like to make the amplitude to 0.6 now this will pretty much just flicker way more now you know just like way way more and the last effect I like to add here is exposure and here I like to make the exposure to 0.8 just to make it seem a bit more brighter okay now let's go back to glow threshold actually after adding that and let's make it to 60% here all right so this will look really really cool as you can see like a really cool flicker and the last little addition we can do here is press ctrl alt y and add s flicker on top just to have even more flicker because we want to make this as flickery as possible so let's make the amplitude to 0 0.4 and now as you can see this will look absolutely crazy like an actual crt flicker you know just really really cool i mean i don't know if it's like the most realistic thing in the world but that does the work you know like that it's insanely cool and then i guess the last thing you can do is go back to the clip layer and you will start to see it like what is that you know you might be wondering okay what do we do here so we need to press s and we need to scale it up just so we can see it like you can have it like this and we'll look like a tv and we can press ctrl y actually and if you don't like to have it like this you can also add motion tile and you could make the output width to like something like 75 and it will look like a little tv like that so yeah and i guess the last thing i want to talk about are some of really cool glitch effects which i've been actually working on it's the glitch presets pack uh this has not been released by the way yet guys it's still i think under one month i will release it so in a bit like 25 week days maybe i almost said 25 weeks yeah wow well, i don't know what was that uh i am super sorry for the pack you guys have been giving me some ideas for the pack yeah tell me what you guys uh, think about like glitch effects and what type of glitch effects you would want because i really really love some of these like for example like glitch one i want to know if a lot of you would like these type of glitches as you can see here like look at this glitch do you think that's cool i also wanted to ask that because while i was making this i thought this was absolutely crazy so yeah i just wanted to ask you what you think about these type of glitches i will show you way more in the future but yeah kind of want to keep showing you guys just the puzzles of this little pack you know that i'm making yeah i just want to leak a little bit of what i'm doing but yeah anyways guys that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya